Hey everybody, Vic coming at you here. And if you've noticed in your company uh, Microsoft Exchange emails, if you're using Outlook, you'll see something that shows that the email messages are going to be expired after whatever time frame that your company allows. So here's an email that was received March 4th, 2020, and you see that it says expires March 4th, 2021. So it has a one year retention policy. So what happens on March 4th? This email gets deleted, goes away, and I won't have access or a history of it. So this is a quick tutorial on how to go ahead and download your emails to your laptop so that this way you have access to it on an ongoing basis. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump on over to file, click on file, and we're going to go over to open and export and we're going to say import export now it comes up with choices what we're going to want to do is export to a file and then we'll click next and then the next thing is we don't want to go into a cut you might want to do a comma separated files and then later on also do a PST but typically I want to be able to access these emails from my outlook and I'm going to show you how to do that so we're going to go outlook data file which is a dot PST go next and what we want to do is we want to do all of them so I'm going to click at the top most and include subfolders you want to make sure now if you want to go ahead and filter this tutorial is not about that but if you wanted to let's say filter only uh, that contains the following words or only has this particular subject or only from a particular person you can do that but for this um, tutorial we're just gonna get all of them so that we have access to our emails uh, even after they're expired from the company service so we're just gonna make sure that subfolders is clicked we're gonna make sure that we went to the very top above the e um, above the inbox and you select on your um, your email okay and you click next and now here's something that's gonna come in useful later replace duplicates with items exported allow duplicate items to be created do not export duplicate items now if you're going to be doing this on an ongoing basis you would click this you would do your entire mailbox again and you wouldn't have to worry about uh, redoing the duplicates it will only export non-duplicate items and this will be a way for you to go ahead and maintain your mailbox right now since we're doing this for the first time you could click any one I'll just pick the first one and we'll go to finish and now it's going to want to go ahead and see if I want to go ahead and password protect my .pst file. I don't wish to do that at this point. I'm going to click OK. And depending on how many emails you've got to download will depend on how long this here runs. So if you see it's uh, exporting deleted items, it's going to do your entire mailbox because I chose the very top. So I'll go ahead and speed this up as I go through all the folders. Okay, so we're finally done. Now, depending on how large or how many emails you have, is going to determine how long it's going to take you to export that. And just a note going forward that we found here is that if you do happen to um, uh, go ahead and do this, you may want to go ahead and empty out your deleted file folders, as you saw that alone took quite some time on mine. So let's go ahead and now get this to the point where we can access that backup file from our Outlook uh, itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to do File open and export and instead of doing the input export we're going to say open outlook data file this is the one that we just created 318 we're going to go ahead back up pst and just click ok and now we'll go ahead and see that we have access to the outlook data file and <laughs> look at that it had 3,771 emails in my deleted file folders. That's why it took so long. And now I have access to all of my emails that I had previously, but it's backed up to my computer. So as a result of the uh, company policy, whether it's six months, a year, or whatever it happens to be, I'll have access to this uh, for as long as I keep that file. So with that, I hope that helps. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.